新粒子対応試作機起動Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Seven Punks channel. Today, we're going to be building the high grade Bill Fighters Scramble Gundam. So, this Gundam right here is mixing the design between Zeta Gundam and Destiny. A little story right there. When this Gundam design first came out, it was like the Gundam Bill Fighters Tri Island. When I first time saw this Gundam, I was like, I was like the biggest hater to this Gundam. But, you know, as time passes, I keep looking at this. It's like, yeah, it's pretty fine. But until this day, I still don't. Like the transformation on this scramble Gundam because, um, due to the respect, I gotta say that the scramble Gundam's transformation is not worth to call transformation. It's just turning apart and act like an airplane. No, I mean a bird. <laughs> but anyway, um, now today we're building the scramble Gundam. The scramble Gundam is a pretty old kit as well as from two thousand and sixteen, and. There's a drama going on back when Scramble Gundam is coming out. The hot Scramble Gundam is having a prototype display, but it was never released. But we never heard any news anymore, so I assume that the hot Scramble Gundam is in the trash right now. We will never see it, so uh, it's kind of it's kind of bummer. But anyway, so today we're building this kind of old kit. And now looking at the side right here, we can see the weapons right here. You can clearly see that it's just set like a dumb snap on the destiny design. And then at the other side right here, we can see the information of the scramble Gundam. So now let's open up the runners. Now let's take a look of the instruction menu. So first we have the detail of the scramble Gundam down here at this side right here, mistress girl. But for those of you who watch the Gundam Bill Fighters uh, Island Wars, you know that this is Aina and Leji's daughter. So I don't know why officially they call Mistress Girl, which is pretty weird. But anyway, turning at the side right here, Material Gamper, Seta Gundam, not quite Seta Gundam, uh, included the Destiny as well, the design base. Officially, it is Seta Gundam and the Destiny Gundam. So down here, we can see that the color guy, the rear view, the weapon introduction. Where's the one point technique? Oh my god, I missed the one point technique. Where it is? Where it is? No one point technique on this instruction menu. Wow. So let's just quickly flick through this. Yeah, so this is a trans transformation. If you take a look at this transformation right here, I don't know why you would call this a transformation. Is the transformation that one, it doesn't look pretty, and two, it looks like way childish. <laughs> I gotta tell you that it's like someone who never who never watches Gundam and try to make a transformation unit. It's, it's it's pretty ridiculous. But anyway, let's look at the runners first. First, C1 and C2 runner. I will just pick C1 as the example. So first C1 contains the torso part, the shoulders part, arms part, and then this is possibly the I think this is part of the backpack. Oh, I'm wrong, and then this is the feet part, and this is the wings part. The E1 and E2 runner, my E2 runner already got a piece, already got a piece right here is hanging, so I'm just gonna take this away before it fall out. So E1 runner, it contains the clear part over the gun plus body, which included at the torso, the shoulders, the legs, and the backpack wings at the tip of the wings, so it contain all of that. A D1 and a D2 runner, so they are pretty much the same, so I'll just use D1. D1 runner is the inner frame of the whole MS. We can see the hands option down here, the head part right here, the tor the waist part, and then we can see some, I believe this is a like part of the legs of the joint. And other than that, I don't know the rest of it. A B1 and B2 runner, they are pretty much the same, so I'll just take, take one and introduce. So first right here, we can see the whole runner, these two runner, is clearly for the wings. Other than that, there's not much for anything else. The A1 and A2 runner, they are pretty much the same, so I'll just use A1. So A1 runner right here, we can see that beam saber, side skirt, uh, front waist, legs part, and then waist part, torso part, head part, 
and we can see some part of the torso right here. I don't know exactly which part of these are, so it's very hard for me to make the judge call. The F runner contains the antenna and the torso parts, so it's just a pretty simple runner. Beam saber effect parts. We have these small poly caps and also these stickers. This time the stickers, um, I'm not sure about all this, but this is for the eyes clearly. I'm not sure about the rest of this, so uh, it's really hard to tell. So anyway, let's jump into the review first. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Scramble Gundam. So this is the finishing of it. As you can see right here, most of the design is still kept for the Zeta Gundam design. And the part that does not really look like Zeta Gundam is the weapons and the backpack wings. Other than that, most of the Zeta materials, most of the Zeta elements is still kept. But I do want to say that, yes, although I took a long time to kind of accept the design, but until this day, when I'm looking at this Scramble Gundam, I still uh, not just say that, let's not say that I have hate towards it. It's more like I still have some feelings towards the Scramble Gundam because I really feel like that this doesn't took like a lot of effort to design and it kind of missing the, the uniqueness from the build fighters. Most because most of the design from build fighters, they are just customizing Gamma, but they do have the design element in it this one right here it may it just made me feel like it's more like a it's more like a very rushed design just to put the Zeta Gundam and the Destiny Gundam together personally although I don't hate the design that much like I used to do but I still have some very hard feeling towards it but anyway now we're just going to take a look at the articulation first so first let's starting with the head so the head is still kept the design of the Zeta Gundam or close to the Zeta Gundam so we can clearly see that it's based on the Zeta Gundam uh, the articulation is moving up it's not really moving down it's not really as well because the ball joint is locked inside the piece so I can't really move it so it's it's not like it's going to be uh, any like very excellent articulation other than that, the recoloring on the Zeta Gundam is just the camera at the front and the camera at the back right here. At the back right here, supposed to be black. Other than that, there's not much recoloring that you need to do. Looking at the chest right here, so we can see that this design is redesigned. This time doesn't look like the Zeta Gundam, rather it's a more like a completely new design. But uh for the this new design i don't really like it because especially it looks really weird and i really prefer the original setup of the design this design right here i can't really accept it uh the movement between it is really poor as well because uh, it's getting in the way so it's really hard to move around on the waist right here the the best you can do is just not even like 45 degrees. For the arms right here, 360 uh, is possible. Lift up, it's a little, it's, it can be over 90 degrees, but if you attach with the gun right here, this kind of shield gun right here, it will fly out and then moving to the front, it is possible. Bending, uh, bending, uh, the forearm can be moved as well. So the bending is pretty good. The forearm can be individually uh, moved as well. And the top of the arm here, right here is movable as well. So overall, the articulation on the arms is pretty excellent. And we don't have any extra hands, so you just have to stick with whatever hand that we got. Beam gun right here is kind of like a shield gun thing. Uh, it's attached on the forearm, but although, uh, but I have one thing that I want to complain about this weapon. Uh, the it's not really stable and it's really easy to to fly out like just I just do like a little tweeze around and it would just fly out uh, to how do you use this weapon right here is actually pretty simple you just grab the base and then you rotate the gun to the front and then you can use it but right now I do want to complain that the scramble Gundam weapon is way too easy to fall out and I extremely hate this down at the waist right here, most of the part is plain white, which means that you have to do a lot of recoloring, such as the side of the front skirt, the bottom of the side skirt right here. And then turning to the back skirt right here, we can see that these part right here is all need to be recolored to black. So it's pretty simple, just get your marker out and do a little bit of coloring. So first, uh, front skirt can lift up on a pretty good angle. The side skirt can lift up a bit as well. The beam saber is on it. To take it out is pretty simple. Just basically pull down and the beam saber will come out. 
is pretty simple and we also have the beam saber effect part to go along with it let's talk about the legs now so this legs part right here um, just like the whites, there's a lot of part that you need to recolor and the stickers is the black stickers is used at the side of the legs and then the and the inner leg part you have to recolor to black as well so i just did a little bit with the mark, marker and that's basically it so the articulation though kicking to the front um kicking to the front um is nearly 90 degrees but not quite kicking to the back is impossible and then now Kicking to the side is a little bit getting in the way as well because the side skirt don't really have a good lifting angle. And then for the for the legs right here, it can move around like that. And then for the bending though, uh, is is you know is quite average now. So because drawing to the big pieces of armor. And then for the legs down here, I mean for the feet down here, we can see that the tip of the feet can be can be folded for the transformation later and then this white piece right here is also movable as well now let's talk about the, the backpack wings right here rather than saying it's taken from the design of the destiny which it does more like now when the wings are folded it looks more like strike freedom gundam more than the destiny but let's talk about the articulation first so first it can move up move down and move side to side as well and it can also expand the wings can also expand now this is where it look this is the part where it looks like the destiny gundam so it's kind of so the designing is you know although the overall design is a little bit weird but you gotta admit that the wings design is it's pretty nice because when they open they are like destiny gundam but when they close they are like strike freedom gundam so they're just taking the elements from it other than that the wings look overall the wings looks pretty good because of these clear pieces this blue clear pieces all over the wings kind of adds a bit of uh visual appearance to the wings itself so the wings though it looks pretty good now let's show you how to do the transformation first first you remove those two guns from the forearms then you will take off the whole upper body and what you have to do now is pretty simple just expand the wings and then just flatten it from so looking from the top it will be like this the wings are flattened and it should be expand like this for the lower body we'll just fold the feet first and then we'll do and then we'll just do the thing that you do with the side of as well so just slightly move the position of the legs so it should turn like this then just like the wing gundam's transformation now the whole upper body will be facing uh, facing to the back then we'll need to get this gray piece right here and then snap it on the torso so now it should be like this then you want to put the gun down at the at this gray piece right here and then to put one at the top here as well and there you go this is what the transformation looks like once you finish the transformation so this is the end of the video hope you guys like this video so for the transformation though i feel like it's a bit uh it doesn't really look like transformation to me it looks like a very rush design for me overall for the scramble gundam but other than that um for the kit itself it is pretty solid although the accessory is not that interesting because you only have these kind of always fly out beam guns right here and then you also have the beam saber other than that that's not much accessory so um if you ask me for this regular release it's not really that expensive so if you are a fan of it definitely you can buy it if you are someone that don't really like this kind of design i suggest you don't because really though it really hard to kind of accept this this design so Let's just say that most of the build fighters design they have a really good design and they are pretty unique as well but for this one it for the scramble gundam itself i really feel like it's a it's a really rushed design it's like it's it's making it because i want to make it, it there's the design is a bit weird so um really up to you personally i'm not really a fan of this design because as i said i really feel like this design is rushed and it kind of don't have that don't have that bill fighters design style anyway but uh this will be the end of the video uh, thank you guys for watching make sure you leave a like on my video and subscribe to my channel hit the little bell next to next next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye